And welcome everyone here to the Lark Network. Rusty Witcher alongside Kyra Seps. Hi, Kyra. Hello. How are you? I'm doing all right. Great. Kyra's making her debut tonight as my color commentator and slash scoreboard operator, but don't worry. We've got it under control. Lark's hosting On Prep Academy. They are out of Oklahoma. A prep academy. These guys are all post-grad. They're 18, 19 looking to go on. So I think we've got some coaches who are probably tuning in and watching. So whether you're a fan of the Panthers, a fan of the Larks, we'd love to hear from you. Send us a text at 620-217-1465. Yes, my number is right up there on screen. You can ask us questions, comments, feedback. Kyra's asking, she'll answer life questions, what it's like to be a college student. Yeah, we're, we're good to go. <laughs> For sure. All right. Starting on tonight for On Point Prep, it will be number 11, Caleb Harris, number 15, James Harrell, number 22, Lovell Hayes, number 23, Andre Howes, and number 25, Dijon Marlin. DeWitt Manley is the head coach of the Panthers, and so we are getting close to action here from Yost Center. This is the last men's game before conference play, so you can kind of the last tune-up. Women play tomorrow at 5 o'clock. You guys are hosting... Uh, Southeast is right. Yes. Okay. So you guys play tomorrow at 5 o'clock right here, Yost Center. Kyra and the Larks taking on their last conference tune-up, pre-conference tune-up before things get real in a hurry. <laughs> With a visit to number one Labette Community College on Saturday. Yes. And for those of people who aren't aware, the Jayhawk Conference is the real deal. On the women's side of things, Labette comes in at number one, Johnson County number three, and KCK at number four. On the men's side of things, Highland is number four, Johnson is number six, and Fort Scott is 15. So it's loaded. Are you guys ready? Yeah, for sure. We okay. just have to stay focused during practice and stay together. All right, I like it, I like it. Starting on the lineup for the Larks tonight, number, zero, number one, a 5'10", a freshman, sophomore guard from Greeley, Colorado, Spencer Conway. Number three, a six-foot sophomore from Kansas City, Missouri, Jerome Jackson. Number five, a 5'10 sophomore from Dallas, Texas, Langston Flowers. Number 14, a 6'3 redshirt fresh from Conway, Arkansas, Juwan Clifton. And number 35, making his first start of his year of the year and his career, a 6'7 redshirt freshman from Chapman, Kansas, Lozano. Love it. Larks are coached by Matt Hebert, assisted by Dallas Stutzman. So we are set for action here from the last post pre conference tournament, or pre conference tune up, we shall say. And like we said, things get real. Larks will be back in action. I do believe, I want to say March 6th is the next home game for the men as they will be in conference play. First two games for both men and women on the road. So Zoe jumping center, and he will jump against Lavelle Hayes. And we are set for action here from Yo Center, ready to go. The hallowed hardwoods, the ball. In the air, the tip controlled by the Larks as Spencer in the backcourt here, the Larks go. Larks working on the, their spread offense, Spencer driving. Larks giving off the 76-74 victory over Mac JV. Langston getting the start, Elijah and Ethan both out tonight and Langston is mugged down low and the first foul of the game will be whistled on on point. Keyshawn Hayes guilty of the foul, his first team's first. Spence to toss it in, and does on top to Langs. Someone turn a fan on in here. <laughs> Did you feel, it feels kind of chilly all of a sudden. JJ pulls the trigger from deep, his three, good. JJ knocks the three down. Big three there by the Larks, they're up three to nothing. Kyra's on it, it's on the scoreboard already, rock and roll. <laughs> we have this under control. The jumper to answer back the three misses. Rebound pulled in by Harris. Juwan comes away with a steal. Here comes the Hobo Clifton out on top, Langston. Langs driving down, swings it back to Juwan. Juwan pulls the trigger and Hobo's three a little strong. The reason we call him Hobo, he dresses like a hobo before the games. <laughs> and he said he's okay with it, so we're gonna roll with it. Yeah. Sweats in a hoodie. Oh, and, yeah, and you never know quite what kind of sweats. It looks like he just picked those right off of the street <laughs> sometimes. And he laughs about it. So we are good with, with Juwan being known as Hobo. So is he. Howes plays it near side of Marlin. On the wing, 4-4. The Panthers a shoot. Marlin's runner, teardrop floater, up and good. 
and Dijon Marlin puts the Panthers on the board. Score three to two, 18-26 to go. Some of your teammates coming by and saying, whoa, Kyra's on line, aren't they? <laughs> Zoe with the low block, Langs in the corner, a deep three by Langs, misses, rebound falls right in the hands of Caleb Harris. Harris ahead to Howes. Howes plays it back to Harris. Harris, the three from the wing, short, rebound, pulled down by Spencer. We've played two minutes, Larks by a point. Head coach Matt Hebert said he wasn't sure if they were going to run man or zone tonight. Looks like they were running a little bit of zone, a little yeah. bit of man, I should say. JJ far side elevates the 17 foot, a little short. Rebound taken down by Howes. Howes the other way. 15 footer off balance. It's up. It's good. Good take by Howes. He's fouled. He'll shoot a free throw. And the first foul of the game for the Larks charged to Langs. Those are always the tough ones, aren't they? Yes. <laughs> Ooh, your shoes are like pitch match. Oh, that's going to bother me. <laughs> free throw up and good by Howes. 5 to 3 the score. I don't have OCD, but the mismatching shoes just bothers me. Yeah. I my, it's enough with Miley's shoes, <laughs> with, with that, but I, we're get, trying to get over that. Spence near, or rather JJ near side, driving. Dust it, Zoe from about 12 off the mark. Rebound taken out by Harris. Harris racing down the floor, far side wing, front of the Lark bench. Bounce pass, Howes elevates the 15-footer from the elbow. Rebound taken out by Juwan. Juwan leading the break the other way. Lark's down by a bucket. Juwan all the way to the free throw line, sees the saw, the seam spins off the window, a little short, tip up, no good, back tap, and the Larks reset. Langs calling out the offense with 10. Langs bump, driving, with six, gives a spin, Spencer in traffic, spins it, and rolls it home. Nice. Spencer with the right English, we're all mounted up at five. 16.37 to go. How do you guys do that, get that spin going on there? Honestly, I do not know. <laughs> <laughs> Harris on the far side. Back on top, finding Hayes. A plate in the corner. Marlin at the elbow. Harris with six, trying to drive, backs it out. Stepping through, nice little take step up and good by Keyshawn Hayes. Check that, that's James Harrell. I wrote that down wrong. Sometimes reading's hard. <laughs> so Harrell with two points. And Harris quick snap in, Harrell on the far side. Back on top, Howes on the near side wing. Howes backs his way down. Plays it, Harris, he'll try the three, his three, short, rebound, Juwan. Juwan, bringing the ball up the floor for the Larks. Just inside the arc, the jumper up and good, and Juwan ties the game at 7, 15, 29 to go. Just a good, solid take, isn't it? Harrell the other way. The basket up, it will count. And the foul charges up. So James Harrell knocks the bucket down. He'll be at the free throw line. And trail check in. The foul charge to Zoe. He picks up his second. A chance for the old-fashioned three-point play. Spins out, rebound, Juwan. Juwan, far side, Spencer. Driving all the way down. Back on top, JJ. JJ will back away, 17 for the Larks to shoot. JJ goes in, left a little short, rebound taken down by the Panthers. Here they come on the break the other way. Harrell's thought about the three drives in. 
Draws contact in and out. Rebound pulled down by Spence. Spence baseball pass ahead. JJ. JJ saw Trey going down. Going down to Trey. And an offensive foul on a JJ. And JJ picks up his foul. Carter Hopkins checking into the game. Saw Trey calling for the lob. I've never had that issue. No one's ever called for the lob for me. Because I didn't know I'm not going to be able to dunk. Kyra Note, she's got mad hops. She's all over the place. <laughs> Harris, far side, Harrell. How's the jumper from the baseline? Up and good, Andrea Howes. 11 to seven, Mark's trail by four, 14-22. The play, full court pressure being applied by the Panthers. Lang's wiggling his way through traffic. Lang's all the way in, and Langston scores off the window. Mark's have trimmed the lead, 11 to nine, 14 minutes to play first half. Langs with a steal on the far side, but it goes out of bounds. Last touch by the Panthers. Check that last chance touch by Langston. I thought it was last touch by, the, by Langston as well. Thirteen fifty six to play. 11 seconds on the shot clock. They're getting the shot clock right. It's always tricky. How's on the far side? Far side. How's driving in and took too many steps. And the turnover giving the ball to the Larks. 13.46 to go. Jawan dials up a three off the inbounds, a little strong off the heel. Rebound taken in and taken down by the Panthers. He tried to run the back door lob. Harris here on the near side. Harris backing away, giving on top Marlin. And Harris, they're playing catch. He'll try the three. Harris is three short. Rebound Spencer. Spencer, near side, Carter Hopkins. Carter drives short corner and has his pocket picked. Nice tight rope work on the footwork there by Harrell. He'll go to the bucket, gets it back and scores. James Harrell scoring. The timeout taken by the Larks 32nd timeout. We'll keep it right here. 13 minutes ago, Larks trailing 13 to nine. And Kyra, what are you seeing so far? Well, I feel like we should talk a little bit more on the defensive end. Mm -hmm. But other than that, we're doing fine. Okay. I like it. I like it. We'll have women's basketball tomorrow. Tip off at 5 o'clock southeast from Beatrice coming down, making the 187-mile journey. Yes, I actually do know that. It's 187 <laughs> miles from Heston to Beatrice to Southeast Community College in Beatrice. And then we will be at Oswald Field for some baseball. Oh, I've only been to one baseball game ever. Really? Yes. It's fun. <laughs> it's outdoors. It can be beautiful. Spencer works through traffic as we're back to basketball action. Pitching it back to Langs. Langs driving all the way down off the glass. Too strong. Trey can't pull the rebound down. Langs goes down hard and how's on the far side. And I didn't see what happened, but that may not be good. So Clay Stoffer, acting athletic trainer today, running into Langs. We're going to take a break. We'll be back right after this on the Lord Network.
And welcome back to Yo Center. They're still, still tending to Langston. A couple sponsors to recognize tonight. Ray Roofing, they are our corporate sponsor. Ray Roofing offers a range of commercial, industrial, and residential roof systems. It is one of the leading roofing contractors in South Central Kansas. And Blue Stem Communities, where our goal is to have a positive impact on quality of life for every individual who lives here, works here, or is our guest. So thank you to our sponsors. If you want to be sponsored for a LARC broadcast, please contact our athletic director, Brian Kerr, at B-R-Y-A-N dot K-E-H-R at Hesson.edu. So a hand to Langs is being helped off. And that is a tough break for such a good kid. Always has a smile on his face. Langs is pretty funny. <laughs> so 13 to 9, our score. Lark basketball coming out of the timeout. Twelve thirty-four to go. Jerome Jackson driving, kicks it out. Juwan. Juwan plays it back. Spencer steps in. Carter drives all the way and tries the scoop shot. It's blocked. The block knocked down there by. That is Hayes. Juwan the other way. Down low to Trey. Trey goes to work, steps in, off the window, up and good. Trey scores, and the Larks trim the lead, 13 to 11. Harrell giving back Hayes. Far side, the jumper from the free throw line extended will not drop for Lavelle Hayes. JJ the other way, streaking to the bucket, goes in. A little strong, rebound pulled down by the Panthers. 11.30 to go. On top, Harrell. Snapping a pass, I'll swing it over, Hayes back to Harrell. Far side, Harrell. Jumper up, and in and out, rebound the Larks. JJ pulls it in. Spencer. Looking to drive all the way down, off the glass, in and out, draws a foul, and Spence will shoot too. House picks up his first personal foul, second team foul at the 11-minute mark, and the Larks will be at the free throw line shooting their first free throws of the contest. First one a little strong. Second chance coming up for the sophomore. A little short rebound, taken down by House. Andre House, far side, Keyshawn Hayes. Panthers work the ball around the perimeter. House backing away on the wing, saw the seam, steps in, and threw it away. Nobody home on the far side. JJ. Bringing the ball up the floor, 10.40 to go. Little trap being played, Juwan steps through, knifes to the bucket up and somehow cut that to go. Hobo with his second field goal. And we're all tied up at 13, 10.26 to go. It's a great take. Mm -hmm. Down low house, turnaround jumper. Missing, tipped around, pulled in, shot short. That's last touch by the Larks that will stay with the Panthers. Again, if you're a fan of the Panthers, fan of the Larks, we'd love to hear from you. Drop us a text, 620-217-1465. Keyshawn Hayes plays it down low. J.J. comes up with a steal. Nice play by J.J. Great court awareness. Juwan. Steps back, launches along, two off the window, it's up, it's good. 
didn't call bank, but we'll put it on the <laughs> scoreboard, won't we? John with six to lead the Larks. 9.44 to go. Howes on the far side, has it poked away, last touch by the Larks. Media timeout, we'll take a break. We'll be back after this here on Lark Network. And welcome back here to Yost Center on the campus of Heston College. Rusty Witcher alongside Kyra Steps as we, 9.39 to go. Larks have taken the lead, 15-13. Lang still on the bench, being tended to. And Larks are without the services of Ethan and Elijah, two normal starters out tonight. And the final tune-up before a conference. On point basketball coming out of the timeout. Hayes to toss it in. Plays it on top, Marlin. Marlin back to Hayes. Skip pass here near side, Larks now in zone. That ball tossed away, Larks forced the turnover. And JJ plays it on top, Spencer. Juwan goes behind his back, steps through, spins the other way. And Juwan shot rolls home. Juwan with eight. And Juwan doing his best length. The invitation, JJ with a theft. JJ going all the way in, draws Condo, draws it up and scores. JJ with five. And things picking up as the Larks with some life there up by six, 19 to 13. Hayes on the far side. Hey, he's trying to answer back, wraps it back out here near side. Harrell on top. And a three second call against on point. Eight forty one to play here, first half. We're getting some really good stops here. Yeah. We are, absolutely. <laughs> and good defense always makes the transition to offense. Yes. <laughs> What's your favorite part of the game, defense or offense? Uh, Be I honest. Like I like them both, okay. but uh, I'll probably pick offense. <laughs> okay. JJ can't cash in. Rebound pulled down by House. House is kind of all over. Hayes lobs it down. That shot will not drop for Lavelle Hayes. Boost on the floor, a fight for the ball, and they're going to catch Zoe for traveling as he was tied up over a house and rolled over a house. I'm not sure I want Zoe to lo roll over me. <laughs> He's a big boy. He is 6'7", every bit of 6'7", and Lark's going tall with both Trey and Zoe in at six, each one of them at 6'7". They snap the pass in. The shot will not go. Rebound pulled down, Juwan. Juwan leads with a break. Juwan all the way in, scoops it off, left it short. A blocking foul called against on point. And they foul again, charge to Caleb Harris. And Juwan will shoot free throws for the Larks. So Hobo Clifton, the free throw strike. A pretty 
free throw is good. 20 to 7, 20 to 13. It's a seven point lead. Second free throw upcoming. Jared Richardson in the game now for the Larks. The Larks go even taller. That second free throw by Juwan is nothing but the bottom of the net. Jared in at 6'10 with his hairy seven feet. 7.54 to go as House cans a three. Andre House now with eight points to lead on point. JJ gives it to Spencer. Larks breaking the pressure. JJ back to Juwan. Juwan wanted to pull the trigger. His 16 foot jumper, a little short rebound pulled down by House. House spinning against JJ. And nobody home, and House took too many steps before he could throw it away. Either way, a turnover going to the Larks with seven and a half to go. So Spencer to toss it in. As now all three leading scores for the Larks are out. Elijah, Ethan, and Langston. But Juwan doing his best to keep the Larks active. He has 10, 7. Juwan driving in, goes off the window a little strong. Jared Richardson, the, the ball fake, lost it, stripped out of bounds. Got the rebound, I should say. Stripped out of bounds. 21 to 16, 7.05 to go. House launches the three short. House does a great job of following, has it stripped out of bounds. Trey and Carter checking in. And I absolutely love that. That is old school hustle, following your shot. So many people don't do that. That shot blocked by Jared. There's Lavelle Hayes, though, cleaning up down low. It's a three point advantage for the Larks with 6.50 to play. JJ working far side. Backing away. JJ in the corner, Carter. Juwan from way downtown, a little strong, and the rebound tipped around. Trey had it, knocked it out of bounds. It will be Panther basketball. But Juwan can't find the range from outside the arc, but pretty hot from inside the arc. Spencer Conway back in the lineup. 6.24 to go. Keyshawn Hayes drives in, draws a block as Trey was inside the restricted. It was a good try, though. It was. Got to be outside that pesky restricted area as Trey picks up his first. Keyshawn Hayes at the free throw stripe to shoot two. First one a little short. Mark Edwards in the game now for on point. That free throw good. Hayes makes good on one of two. 21 to 19, Larks by a bucket. 6.17 to go. And on point in the 2 2 1 press. Larks break it. No, Trey can't hang on to it. And I think Trey was going to pass before he ever had a hold of that. Yeah. I feel like one thing that Trey does good is talk on defense. Yes. Yes, and you have to be able to communicate on defense. Just over six and change to go. Larks 21. That jumper will not go. Rebound pulled down by Trey. JJ to Carter, and Carter shuffled his feet. I think Carter knew it. Do you know when you travel? Yeah, you feel it. Doesn't feel the same. Doesn't quite feel the same. Mm -hmm. Down low as the Panthers slip behind. Hayes score timeout taken by the Warks. Full timeout. We'll take it with them. We're back after this here on the Lark Network.
And welcome back here to Yo Center where we are having a heated debate at our broadcast table. Do you, and so we want your we want you guys to text in. Do you call it soda or do you call it pop? I can't believe a Kyra calls it soda. I call it pop. It's called pop we're in Kansas. It's called soda. It's, no, <laughs> it is not baking soda. That is a pop. <laughs> 547, we want to hear from you. Send us a text, what you call it, 620-217-1465. Larks and Panthers all tied up. Panthers in the middle of an 8-2 run, and nobody home as that ball goes all the way up to our <laughs> table. That one almost knocked the camera down. No one knew the camera was in danger. Lavelle Hayes plays it back to Keyshawn Hayes. Harrell tries a three, that's short. Rebound, Harrell gets it back. Snapping up far side, Harris to Hayes, down low, short corner, Edwards. Harris steps back, launches the three, his three splashing down. Caleb Harris knocks his first three down and on point with the 24-21 lead, 5-10 to go. J.J. works through traffic. Trapped coming. J.J. steps through it and taken away by Harris. The lob going up, and the feed will go for Keyshawn Hayes. A 13-2 run here by on point. There the Larks break the pressure. J.J. all the way, down low, Jared. Jared steps through and lost it through the hands of the Larks. Harrell dials up his three in and out. Rebound pulled down Jared Richardson. Four twenty-nine to go. Spencer working. Floats the teardrop in and out. Fighting for the loose ball pulled down by Hayes. Hayes racing Hayes all the way down. And Juwan guilty of the foul, but that's a pretty good foul. Yeah. No easy bucket. No, that's right. Good foul by Juwan. Got to go. And I think they're going to call it on the floor before, so that's an even better foul. <laughs> DeJon Marlin back in the game for the Panthers. Zoe checks back in for the Larks. Harris. Back to Keyshawn Hayes. He'll try the three. His three, too strong. Rebound, J.J. Larks have numbers, two on one break. J.J. going all the way in. Teardrop missing. Fog. Spencer pulls it down. J.J. near side. And J.J. will back away. J.J. with 10. Rolls it down, Zoe. Zoe turn around, jumper a little short. Rebound, Caleb Harris of on point. That's back the other way, a three launched. Missing, rebound pulled down. And a foul on the loose ball. Got a text saying, it's called pop. I agree, thank you, all right. Thanks so one pop, we're, we're good. So, my grandpa, he calls it soda pop, so. <laughs> Best of both worlds, but he's a grandpa, so he can do that. 26-21. <laughs> Mark's trail by five. JJ calling out against the trap, steps through, Spencer here near side. Spencer feeds Zoe, Zoe goes to work, little shot up and in for Zoe. And Zoe breaks a long drought for the Larks. And that's just a nice touch down low. Caleb fires the three, missing rebound, Juwan. Larks trail by three, chance to cut in the lead, or maybe tie it with a three. Juwan feeds Trey. Trey low block. Backs his way down off the window too strong. Rebound pulled in by Lavelle Hayes. Marlon ahead. Keyshawn Hayes the other way. Keyshawn Hayes can't cash in. Rebound Trey. Trey has it batted, and the Panthers pull it in. Hayes knocks the three down. Keyshawn Hayes has six, and it's back to the six-point lead. Spencer crossing that timeline and it's fouled right here at the half court stripe. One point foul on number 
Ayers picks up his second personal foul. Full time I taking my on point. We'll take it with him. We're back after this here on the Lark Network. And welcome back here to Yost Center, where we're talking basketball, we're talking life, we're talking pop. So, Kyra, what's your favorite kind of pop? Oh, they drink soda. No, no, I said pop. It's <laughs> called soda. 29-23, <laughs> Lark's Trail by six. Well, if you had to pick one, what would you pick? Sprite. Okay. Spencer has to bring it in. Lark's... A little sluggish coming out of timeout. Juwan backs to JJ. JJ feeds Zoe at the low block. Zoe plays on top, Juwan. Juwan with 10 as the Larks work the ball around the perimeter. JJ driving low block with four and JJ fouled. And the foul whistled on to Jean Marlin. Marlon picks up his second. Two minutes exactly to go in this half. Juwan off the inbounds, his three, a little short. Rebound tipped, and last touch by the Larks will be Panther basketball. Minute 54 to go. Reset the shot clock. Who's running the shot clock over there? I think we know who that is. Is it Sadie? It's Sadie. <laughs> DJ Sadie Simbersky when she's playing music. <laughs> A quick three by Marlon. Short rebound. Pull down Edwards. On top, Hayes. Trying to drive all the way down. Back to Edwards. He'll launch the three. His three spins off. Rebound pulled down by Trey. Juwan on the far side. Juwan, calling out that offense, setting this up. Juwan, driving, elbow, steps through, bounces back to Spencer. Trey at the low block, going to work against House. Trey goes off the window, up and good. And the Larks trim the lead, 29-25, 105 to go. Harris, far side. House backs out Marlin. Harris on the far side. House the launches the jumper up and good from the elbow. 31-25. Larks trail by six. JJ splitting traffic down low to Zoe. Zoe goes up and Zoe lost it. Got a back in trouble. Thirty-three point two seconds to go. As poor Dejon Marlins had trouble with his shoes all night long. Hayes working to the near side. Plays it across. Farrell, back to Hayes. Hayes tries a three, it's up, it's good. Keyshawn Hayes knocks his second three down, and the Larks trail by nine with 10 seconds to go. JJ, stepping through, plays it Juwan with six, Juwan with four, 
Juwan driving all the way in. Juwan spins it off the glass, the tip by Trey, and we'll go to half. Lark's trail, 34-25. We'll be back with the start of the, third, the second half right here on the Lark Network in about 15 minutes.
Mark. It's like, and welcome back to Yo Center on the campus of Heston College. Rusty Witcher alongside Kyra Stebbs as we're winding down here at our halftime. Mark's trail by nine. Take a quick look at some numbers here. Leading the way for on point, Andre Howes with 10, nine for Keyshawn, Hay Keyshawn Hayes, and eight for James Farrell. For the Larks, Juwan Clifton, the lone Lark in double figures with 10 as Langs has been relegated to the bench. They were already without the services of Ethan Hildebrand and Elijah Smith. So the Larks have to find points elsewhere as the three of the four leading scorers. For the Larks, not able to play tonight. It will be Spencer, JJ, Juwan, Zoe, and Trey to start this second half. And the Larks trail by nine and off we go. Keyshawn Hayes works to the far side. Hayes back to Harris. Harris stepping through, dumping it down, and Juwan comes up with a steal. Juwan racing down the floor. Juwan, Juwan spun out of control. Hayes the other way. Hayes goes up and lays it up and in. Hayes cherry picks his way to two, and it's an 11-point Lark disadvantage. Juwan goes to work, off the window, missing, tipped. Fafor Zoe has it, and cleans up the mess. Lozano love it, offensive rebound, stick back up and good. And that's something the Larks need. You can get Zoe going down low, Trey going down low, and things can happen and free up the outside game. Yeah, I feel like right now all the guards are doing all the work. They need to seat the post. The jumper the other way, missing, rebound falls right in the hands of Juwan. J.J. on the far side, couldn't hang on to it. Every once in a while, Kyra, I think the Larks get a little bit too unselfish. Trying to make that one extra, extra pass. Point. Yeah. Harris from way downtown. He launched that from Oklahoma. It spun out. Rebound pulled down by the Larks. Spencer bringing up here on the near side. Spence. Driving Juwan on the far side. Juwan has yet to hit a three in this contest. Larks have only hit one three in the ball game. Juwan goes to the window, cannot cash in. House with the rebound. House bringing it back the other way. Feeding Hayes. Hayes slices his way to two. Deshaun Hayes now has 13 off the bench, 38 to 27. Larks trail by 11, 18 10 to play. Down low, Zoe backs his way down. His shot blocked. It'll be Lark basketball. Spencer to toss it in. JJ, far side wing, and he'll back away. JJ, his jumper, misses rebound. Juwan, Juwan with a great ball fake. Got two defenders up. And scores 12 now for Juwan. And Juwan took a shot in the eye after. Larks can't afford any more injuries. At this point, it looks like a hospital ward over there. <laughs> Checking in for the Larks, Carter, Carter will check in. Juwan take a quick seat and get sorted out. Clay, as the athletic trainer tonight, working hard. 38 29, 17 44 to play. Is there another game today or something? <laughs> no. Oh. Baseball's on the road. They split with Murray State tonight, or this afternoon. Touches up. House tries the three. His three splashing down. Andre House knocks a three down. 13 for House. 41 to 29. There's the trap. Lark's break this time. Carter catching. Somehow gets it right through the wickets of Lavelle Hayes. Carter came out of bounds. Oh. 17-14 to go. Larks sleeping again out of a timeout. Almost cost the Larks an easy bucket on the defensive end. Trey goes in. He's fouled hard by Hayes. Hayes picks up the foul. Trey was going to jam that home. I would love to see that. <laughs> One, two, maybe give the Larks a spike, the sp a little bit of a spark. So Trey will be at the free throw line to shoot two. 
missing the first three throw, too strong off the heel. DJ Beachy into the game for the Larks. The second free throw by Trey is nothing but the bottom of the net. Five for Trey, 41 to 30, under 17 to play. Here in Yo Center. Burrell driving, crosses it up. House plays to Lavella Hayes. Harris down low, kicks it back out. Harrell tries a three. His three up and good. It's rainy threes here in the second half for on point, 14 point advantage, 44 to 30. 16 and a half to go. They go down to Trey, and there's the dunk right on play. Clara's going to diagram the rest of the offense here. She called it out. Trey with a jam. Keep on going. Draw something else up. I like it. Hayes the other way. That's in and out. Harrell, rather. Rebound DJ Beachy. DJ gets his name in the stat column with a quick board. JJ the other way. Ooh. JJ with some nice dribbling, drives in, draws a foul, and JJ will shoot too. I can't do that. I've never been able to dribble very well. My crossover was throw it to the bench. <laughs> Caleb Harris picks up his third personal foul. JJ at the free throw line to shoot two. Did you play any college ball? No. Oh, no. <laughs> free throw up by JJ. Rattles in and out. No, my basketball career peaked in uh, eighth grade, but I do love the game. <laughs> Maybe sixth grade, but that free throw spins off. 44-32, Larks trail by a dozen, 15-53 to go. Hayes just has it, just loses it, loose on the floor. Fight for the ball, bodies everywhere. Carter comes down with it, and Carter comes out of the pack with it. <laughs> That wasn't pretty by any stretch of the imagination, but the Lark retained possession. Carter, working, driving, wraps out JJ, catching. He'd been calling for it for about a week over there in the corner. JJ drives in, off the window, up and good. Jerome Jackson scoring, and the Larks trail by 10, and it sounds like your teammates enjoyed that. <laughs> See, is he a women's basketball play favorite player? Well, I don't know. <laughs> 15.03 to go. Carter nearly forces the turnover. In the corner, Harris tries a three. He's knocked down by Spencer. Oh, check that. It's on Caleb Harris. Harris picks up his fourth personal foul. Must have had a, I don't know what happened. I was watching the shot. Uh, he probably kicked his leg okay. out when he shot. That's kind of been a point of emphasis. Marks with a chance to trim this lead to single digits. JJ. Oh. Nobody home and tosses away. House comes away with it. House stops and pops from 12. Up and good. Andre House with 15. He gives the, the Panthers a... 12 point advantage, DJ Beachy for three. Beachy's three, Ooh, good hustle. missing rebound, pulled in by the Panthers. Hayes on the far side, lost it, DJ pulls away. Beachy gives it back to Carter. The Lark's trying to push the tempo just a little bit. Jared Richardson's jumper from 12, missing, and the rebound pulled in. Fourteen minutes to go. Larks trail the Panthers 46-34. Martin, Lavelle Hayes. On top, Harrell for three from straight away. Doesn't drop. House with the offensive rebound. House left it for Hayes. His three short, and the rebound pulled in by DJ Beachy. And that one poked away the last touch by DJ. It will stay with the Panthers. Juwan and Zoe checking back in the lineup for the Larks.
That one goes right through the wickets on the far side and on point, guilty of the turnover. Takumi Okar checking in for the Larks. Larks trail by a dozen, 13 and a half to play. Juwan back in the game after being poked in the eye. Near side, JJ. On point in a 2-3 zone. They go down low. Active hands by the Panthers in the passing lane. House comes away, wraps it back out. A play to cross. Marlin driving. No look pass to Hayes in the corner. Hayes drives. No look pass to Hayes inside. Lavelle Hayes scoring. That was some good ball movement. It really was. Very unselfish and great no look passing. Juwan on the far side. Juwan almost lost to Trex down the baseline. Juwan wraps it back, JJ. He'll try the three. JJ's three splashing down. Jerome Jackson with 10. And it looks like JJ has come out of his shooting funk. He was in one for the majority of the first half of the season, or the first part of the season. He's a really good defensive player, though. The jumper the other way. Line drive misses, rebound pulled down by JJ. Larks trail by 11. And JJ bumped by House. House picks up his second personal foul. Trey McCauley, Spencer Conway back in the lineup for the Larks. Carter to toss it in. And they play it in the backcourt to Spencer. At some point, I think we're going to have to get Juwan some shorts that fit. <laughs> Spence drives in. Scoop shot up and good. Spencer Conway with his fourth point of the contest. The Larks trail by nine. 48, 39, 11, 51 to go. Marlin. Juwan picks up his second personal foul. First team foul for the Larks at the 11.45 mark. Has to bring it in from the baseline looking. Lobs it on top, Hayes. Hayes working. Nearly had it poked away. There's Kyra's nifty ball movement she talked about. An offensive foul, the Larks force the turnover. And the foul on Lavelle Hayes picks up his first. Fifth team foul here on the Panthers. Panthers have really stayed in this 2-2-1 press as they let it get across half court and then bring one of the second layer, second tier guys up for the trap, don't they? Yep. But the Larks is doing a good job handling that pressure. Spencer breaks the pressure. Trey goes in off the window, up and good. Trey McCullough now with nine. And the Larks have trimmed the lead to a touchdown, 48-41, 11-17 to go. Hayes with it on the far side. Working against Carter. Harrell tries a three, short off the wind, the front of the rim. The offensive rebound up and good by Lavelle Hayes. Back to nine. Spencer driving, gives it back to Carter. Carter, little bunny hop from out of bounds and commits the turnover. JJ checking back in the lineup for the Larks with 10.48 to go. 30 timeout, 30 second timeout taken here by On Point. And the Larks will quickly talk things over for 30 seconds as we've seen a little bit of a different intensity here. In the second half, Larks came out of the locker room and would have liked to have been a fly on the wall for that. Or maybe not, I don't know. 
there are times when I'd like to be a fly on the wall in some locker rooms and just to hear we've had some years ago when Brown Mackey was still one of our arch rivals and they still had a basketball program and they still had a school we heard the screaming coming from their locker room all the way across here in the stands it was a brutal brutal locker room yeah we had one of those times when Michael <laughs> I'm pretty sure you guys could have heard him screaming from the locker room that was on Zoe down low Corral at the free throw line to shoot two. He's 0 for 1. That free throw. Good. 12 for Corral. New second free throw coming up. That free throw, good. Corral knocks down both free throws. 52 to 41. 10 38 to go. One thing we didn't mention about on point as the Lark's trying to break the pressure, Zoe down low off the glass too strong. Rebound pulled down by the Panthers. I'll get to the point I want to make. And here's a chance for it as the Lark's commit the foul. This is a prep team. They're all 18, 19 years, years old looking to go elsewhere. So I know there might be some coaches out there tuning in. That foul whistler on Spencer. Spencer picks up his first, team's third. House gives it down low, nobody home. JJ comes away with a steal. JJ, the one on two break goes in, and JJ is hammered. The foul whistle on Harrell. Harrell picks up his second. JJ at the free throw line to shoot two. JJ's free throw a little strong. That free throw up and good. JJ makes good a one of two. 11 now for JJ. Mark's trail by 10 of 52-42, 10-12 to go. Hayes driving left out for Rail. He'll try the deep three, and he bangs the three home. Harrell's hit his second three. He has eight in the half, 16 for the contest. Juwan spins his way out of traffic, steps through, bounces to Zoe. Zoe lost out of bounds. Media timeout. We'll be back after this here on the Lark Network. Media timeout on the floor. And welcome back to Yo Center here on the campus of Heston College. Kyra, tomorrow you guys play Southeast. What can we expect? Oh, no. We're just going to come out, play our game, and hope that all goes well. Okay. All right. 9.47 to go. Lark's Trail by 13, 55-42. That game will tip off 5 o'clock right here. We're going to have Kyra mic'd up during the No, we're not, but that would be kind of <laughs> that'd be fun. That would be fun if we had a microphone on you. <laughs> for the contest. 
Juan's over there talking to the official. And plays it back to Spencer. 9.46 to go. Mark trail by 13. Spencer driving. Elbow stepping through. And an offensive foul. Spencer ducked just a little bit. And that's a point of emphasis. Doesn't matter how tall you are. The moment you go down with that shoulder, that has been a point of emphasis for a couple of years now. Spence picks up number two. 14 foul on the Larks. JJ nearly takes it away and does, forces a turnover. That is some good defense right there. And head coach DeWitt Manley just telling Keyshawn Hayes, come on, take care of the basketball. Great effort there by JJ. Spencer here on the near side, on the wing. Spencer stepping through, floats it off the window to strong rebound, pulled down. House comes away with it. Far side. On point playing catch. House and Hayes. Marlin now in the far corner with nine. Drives in. Teardrop off the window, up and good for Dijon Marlin. 57 42, 8.44 to go. JJ driving in, up and good. JJ floats his way to two. JJ is having himself a game. 13 now for JJ. Hayes, fouled by JJ, out in front. Sixth foul. Carter and DJ into the game now. DJ Beachy, Carter Hopkins back in as JJ and Zoe take a seat. 8.26 to go. Hayes. House at the elbow. The 15 footer from the elbow, a little short rebound torn down by Trey. Spencer driving, wraps it back with that pass picked off by Lavelle Hayes. And a good job by Juwan, but Juwan goes down hard. And Juwan just landed on the kneecap, I think. Oh, those hurt so uh, much. Juwan picks up his third personal foul. Juwan is beat up. <laughs> he just looks beat up. House to toss it in. And does to Hayes. Hayes, far side of House. Sean Hayes down low to House. House slip behind defenders, draws a foul. And Andre House will shoot a pair of free throws. He's perfect to the stripe in his one trip. He made a free, he made a free throw. Spencer picks up his third personal foul. Andre House at the line shooting two. House's free throw. Good. Ten to three, little spurt here by on point. Second free throw up. Short rebound DJ. Or JJ rather, excuse me. JJ has it taken away. House goes in and tried to dunk and missed. Marlon tosses it away. Larks have numbers. Spencer goes down, left it for Carter. Carter dials up his three. Short rebound, Trey, right place, right time for Trey. And Trey now with 11. Hayes. 
near side. Harrell, his three, misses, rebound. Pulled down, House, lost it, JJ comes away with it. JJ, bring it back the other way. JJ gives it DJ Beachy. Beachy plays it across. And nobody home on the pass as the Larks turn it over. Deshaun Hayes, far side, House. In the corner, and uh, Hayes stepped out of bounds. Not just a little out of bounds, like a foot out of bounds. We, we're right in line with that. 58-46, Larks trail by a dozen. 6.24 to go. DJ, catch and shoot, corner three, a little short rebound, pulled down by Keyshawn Hayes. Hayes plays at the house, house off the glass, up and good. Andre House, 18 now for House. Down low to Trey, Trey couldn't hang on to it and toss it away ahead Keyshawn Hayes. Hayes gonna show time and slams it home. Timeout taken by the Warks. Larks want a full timeout. We'll be back after this here on the Lark Network. never good when you forget your clipboard in the huddle. <laughs> Welcome back here to the Lark Network, 5.53 to go. Lark's trail by 16, 62 to 50, 46. As Lark's without their services of their three leading scorers tonight, Elijah Smith, Ethan Hildebrand, and now Langston Flowers. Five fifty-three to go. Larks with the basketball. As the Larks working against this little two-two-one trap one more time. Carter finds Juwan. Juwan the jumper, in and out, long rebound, tracked down by Keyshawn Hayes. Hayes with fifteen, dishing to House. House off the glass, up and good. Andre House. Now that's twenty-four House. And he leads all scorers. Juwan on the far side, backs down off the glass, up and good, draws a foul, he'll shoot a free throw. Lavelle Hayes picks up his second, team's seventh. Juwan's free throw, good. Juwan with 15, 64 to 49. Hayes steps back, launches a three, spinning off, rebound pulled down and out of bounds off of the Larks. Five oh two to go. Lavelle Hayes. 
House and Hayes are playing catch. Keyshawn, Keyshawn Hayes stepped out of bounds and turns the ball over. 4.49 to play. Spence inside to Trey. Trey goes up and lays it in. One of the dunk, whatever, whatever it does, it works for two. Trey with 13. Marlon to Hayes. Driving, dumping. Trey comes up with a steal. Hands off JJ. JJ, stop and go. Sutter steps in the corner. Carter fires the three. His three short. Rebound off of Trey Carter, though. Right place, right time. Swings it over. Spencer for three. His three splashes down. Spencer Conway puts a three in the book, and the Larks have trimmed the lead to 10. Just like that, down from 16 to 10. The Larks scoring quickly. They finally caught that spark. With three minutes to go. Here we go. That one going to the... The bucket was Lavelle, or excuse me, James Harrell. Spence picks up his fourth personal foul. James Harrell at the line shooting two. Harrell, two for three this evening, shooting free throws. Free throws short. A second chance upcoming. Mark Edwards back in the game for on point. That second free throw is good. Morrell with 19. Excuse me, 17. Juwan on the far side. Juwan drives in, left is short, draws a foul, and Juwan will shoot two. Morrell picks up his third personal foul. Juwan's first free throw, good. 16 for the red shirt freshman from Conway, Arkansas. The second free throw, pure. 17 for Juwan. Mark still trail by 10, three and a half to play. Marlon working. Larks on the switch on the screen. In the corner, House driving. His mid-range jumper will not drop. Rebound, Juwan Clifton. Juwan will bring the ball up the floor. Near side, in the corner, JJ. Drives, turns, drives all the way in, dishing to Trey. Trey goes off the glass, up and good. Trey scores. 15 for Trey, and the Larks trail by seven. Big bucket down low. This is a great big possession defensively for the Larks. And a big possession on, of offensively for on point. JJ with a near steal. Down low, Harrell. Nearly had it stripped away. Eight on the shot clock in the corner. Marlin driving through. And a blocking foul whistled on Carter. John Marlon at the free throw line. Or he'll shoot one and one. John Marlon shooting one and one. That one misses the rebound pull down line. JJ. JJ stops and slid his pivot beat. He knew it. Great move, just almost came out of the shoes. Timeout taken by On Point. They want a full timeout, take thing, talk things over. We will take it. We'll be back after this here on the Lark Network.
And welcome back here to Yo Center. Our sponsors for tonight, Ray Roofing. Ray Roofing offers a range of commercial, industrial, and residential roof systems. It is one of the leading roofing contractors in South Central Kansas and Blue Stem communities where our goal is to provide a positive impact on quality of life for every individual who lives here, works here, or is our guest. So thank you to our sponsors. 2.22 to go, Larks trail by seven on point with the basketball. And the three possession lead. Hayes driving and steps, they'll wave it off. And Hayes will be at the free throw line to shoot a one on one. Carter picks up his second. Tenth team foul. Larks trail by seven. And Hayes free throw misses. They said Hayes shooting two. Second free throw coming up. That one good. Hayes makes good on one of two. 16 for Hayes off the bench. Spencer with a nifty crossover, far side Carter. Carter drives into traffic. Carter splits two defenders, gives it back to JJ. JJ, working, driving. That ball taken away by Hayes. Hayes active hands one more time. Hayes has oh. his pocket picked by Good Spencer. Hustle. Great hustle. JJ playing, driving, all the way in off the glass. Follow by Trey up and good. 66 to 60, a minute and a half to go. Lark's trail here. House in the corner. Or else stepped out of bounds, he was, his foot was on the line. And it's Lark basketball with a minute 20 to go. Larks are playing so hard, everyone has to relace their shoes. <laughs> yeah, it's about to be a close one. You know, not time for Jawan Clifton to hit a three. He hasn't hit one all night. And it'd be a good time for Jawan to hit one. Yes. Spencer, near side, JJ. Larks have to attack, a minute 10 to go. Spencer, near side wing. Driving all the way in, Spence has it blocked. Panthers with it the other way. A technical foul has been whistled on house. He did said something right there for in front of the official. Andre House picks up the technical foul, and Juwan will be at the free throw line to shoot two. And the Larks will get the basketball after the technical foul. What? 23. House picks up the technical foul. And they're talking it over. Trying to figure out what they're talking about. Joel will shoot two. We have a second technical foul on number 23, Andre House. Oh, Andre House picked up a second technical foul. He has been ejected. And Joel will shoot four free throws. Well, that's good for the Larks. <laughs> and Joel knocks the first free throw down. Wasn't that their leading score for? Okay. Uh, he uh, Yeah, he has 20 on the night. Juwan's free throw spins off. A second, third chance coming up. That one spins home for Juwan. 19 for Juwan. And Juwan misses the second, the fourth. Timeout taken there. 
Full timeout taken by On Point. We will step away with them. We'll be back after this here on the Lark Network. And he was the one that sexually harassed the <laughs> And welcome back here to Yo Center on the campus of Essen College. 58, 58 seconds to go. As the Larks. They will be on point basketball out of the timeout. After the technical fouls. Lark trail by four, 58.1 seconds to go. Foul whistled on Carter. Carter picks up his third personal foul. That's foul on number four, Carter Hopkins. That's his third personal foul. Carter picks up his third personal. Keyshawn Hayes at the, line Keyshawn Hayes at the free throw line to shoot two, where Hayes has 16. He's two of four. And knocks the first one down. 17 now for Hayes. Hayes makes good on both free throws. JJ driving all the way in, high off the glass. Trey going for the tip, pulled down by on point. And a foul whistle on Juwan. Hayes at the free throw line to shoot two. He has 18. Juwan over here telling us how we wanted to make those free throws. You always want to make your free throws. <laughs> Hayes free throw off the side of the rim. 38.7 seconds is an eternity in basketball, Tyra. It is a lot of time. Hayes makes good a one of two. 19 for Hayes. Spencer. And he's bumped by Harris, and Harris just fouled out. So now, on point is down to the five guys on the court. And Spencer at the free throw line to shoot two. And that's a great spot for the Larks to be where you can put points on the board without the clock moving. Free throw good for Spence. Eight for Spencer. Zoe checks in the lineup. Free throws is really going to make the difference in this game. Yes, they will. The second free throw up and good. Sixty-nine, sixty-four. Timeout. Take it. Taking versus Carter takes in a thirty-second timeout. Lark women in action right here tomorrow at five o'clock. Southeast coming to town. The storm from Beatrice coming down. And Kyra and the Larks will be set for battle. It's going to be a tough game. It is going to be a tough game. <laughs> 
But I think the Lark women are ready. Yeah, we're ready. <laughs> and then a couple day break, and then it's on to conference. Yes, I'm excited for conference. And a trip to number one ranked Labette right out of the gate. Hayes in the back court. Slings it down. Harrell slipped behind everybody, goes in. Harrell left it short. Rebound pulled down Juwan. Juwan, far side Spencer, catch, shoot, three. Little short rebound pulled down. And Harrell is fouled by Trey. Contested foul on 32, Trey McCullough. His second personal foul. James Harrell will shoot two. James Harrell at the line shooting two. You get the feeling the Larks would have liked to have seen about four more minutes in this game. Free throw by Harrell, up and good. Larks did play this one shorthanded without Ethan, Elijah, and Langston. Langston did start the game, but went down with the injury. See second free throw, good. Harrell knocks down both free throws, 19 for James Harrell. Seven point advantage, 71-64. Spence launches a three, a three good. Spencer knocks a three down, 71-64. Timeout taken by the Larks, a full timeout. With 5.4 seconds to go, I've seen stranger things happen. I think the strangest thing I saw happen was in a high school basketball tournament in Hillsborough, the Hill Trojan Classic in Hillsborough. Hillsborough was playing Riley County. Riley County down four, and a guy was fouled shooting a three. Got three free throws. Misses. The first makes the second, throws a line drive off the front of the rim, bounces back to him, back taps it, and the kid hits a three to tie it at the buzzer to send it into overtime. So I have seen stranger <laughs> things happen. That's crazy. So, you know, 5.4 seconds in basketball it can be a lifetime. Seventy-one sixty-seven. It will be on point basketball coming out of the timeout. Edwards keys it in. And last touch by Juwan. Juwan thought he might have deflected it off of Hayes on the far side. Edwards to bring it back in one more time. Does. Sean Hayes. Foul with 2.5. Trey picks up his third. And Hayes will be at the free throw line to shoot. That free throw good. Hayes now with 20. So House finished the game with 20. Hayes with 20, 19 for Harrell. Pretty good three-headed monster. 21 now for Hayes. And that will do it. Larks are going to fall right here. Final score, 73 to 67. And that will do it for us. We'll be back right here tomorrow. White Larks, women in action at 5 o'clock. Kyra, thanks for coming and doing this. I had fun. <laughs> Good, I'm glad you did. Kyra and the Larks will be in action right here, 5 o'clock tip. We'll be back tomorrow right here for Kyra Steps. I'm Rusty Witcher saying thank you and good night. <laughs>